So I guess my, my reason for wanting to do a video that talks about the reason as to why I wanted to do a film like The Last Rite that focuses on areas of demonic possession and areas of the paranormal and night terrors is that I think it's really important to have a reason why you want to um, go forward and create something, create a piece of work. Uh, for me, like as somebody that's had in the past some experiences that I can't explain, the, the film The Last Rite is a little bit more closer to my heart because there's areas of it that I find not only myself can relate to, but in general, when I've spoken about my experience, which has been very rare, um, people have opened up and related to it as well. Now, I, I totally get that the area of uh, the paranormal is not something that everybody really would either believe in or really take notice of. Um, you know, I'm not doing this for any particular reason other than I just think that it's important that we, 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 we approach life a little bit more openly and see that, you know, there are things that do happen there are things that we can't explain and not everybody that remains silent doesn't mean that they don't experience something. Uh, so I just want to share one, one of those moments that takes me back quite a few years. So when, when I was probably around about eight, nine years old, uh, I lived with my mum in London. Um, so I spent an earlier part of my life living in Peckham, um, South East London. And um, we, I had... Uh, like a really funny shaped like box room. But in that room, there was like this burn mark on the floor. I don't know what the burn mark was. I have no idea. It was there before I even got there. It's just a crazy little mark on the floor. Never thought nothing of it. But the only thing that I found exceptionally odd, but I guess it became normal, was that I had this reoccurring nightmare that wasn't actually a nightmare, I was actually awake. So I would go to sleep and, you know, drift off like anyone else. And then at a certain point I would wake up. And when I woke up, I could, couldn't move. I couldn't, could scream, you know, I, you'd try calling for help and you'd be like, ah. You, you could just breathe out air, but you couldn't verbalize anything. And there would be this guy in, in the room. And this guy resembled something very much like what you would see in Crocodile Dundee. You know, there was like this Aborigine looking guy in like this grass, what I can only describe as like a grass skirt of some sort. And he had this like, it was like a rope. And at the end of the rope, there was like this, it was like a boomerang looking shaped thing. And he would swing it around his head, right? Like really fast, like swinging this thing. And it would make this like noise, like this. This like really guttural in like churn of a sound that used to terrify me. Like, like nothing I'd ever experienced. And it used to happen a lot. And it, and it got so bad to the point of where I couldn't sleep alone. And I, and I couldn't sleep alone for a longer period of time that, you know, that affected me, you know, into my, going into my adolescent years of being like an early teenager. And it was absolutely terrifying be because it's one of those things where you can almost forget about it like it doesn't happen. You could almost deny yourself that it happened. But one thing is, is like the, the feeling of what I experienced just never left. And, and any time whenever I open up about areas of, of my experience of, of this night terror that like traumatized me like for an earlier part of my life, I, I find that people are more open to talk about their experience. I found by opening up and, you know, talking about 
this experience before, like people have come forward and said, do you know what, like I've had a really similar experience. I've had one about this guy, or I've had one with a witch or someone coming into my room. And, and, and you know, it, the, the area of the paranormal absolutely fascinates me because the truth is it's the unknown, right? None of us really know about what, what lies after we leave the earth. None of us know um, where we go, even though we hope that there's something more beyond this realm. But, you know, some of us, while we're here, um, experience things that most people wouldn't know about or would frighteningly just like deny even happened. So what I hope people see from as a result of this video is that, you know, if, if you have had an experience of, of the paranormal or something like that, if you've had something happen to you that you can't explain and it affects your dreams, it affects your state of being or anything, like my, myself personally, I just want to sort of share this and just go, as a, a writer director of The Last Right, I want, um, I want anyone that maybe sees this video to just, you know, feel free to like drop us a message on our um, Facebook or Instagram and just, just reach out because um, my, for me, this video was important that I shared it with the people that I would love to enjoy watching our film because I think for the most part, like, you know, this is a part of my life that I don't often really ever talk about. Uh, I don't really often open up that much about it because, you know, I guess a lot of people don't believe in th this type of stuff. So for me, The Last Rite is going to be opening me up again to some of my experiences because I think that in order to remain authentic to telling a story, you know, coming from a place where you maybe have experienced something yourself just, I think, enables you to tell a much more heartfelt and genuine tale of what you're looking at telling. Um, so I just want to say to anyone that's out there, feel free, drop us a note, um, reach out, just let us know uh, and just know that you're not alone.